not really having guidance onto what type of career one might want to follow, th that's where you know the challenges of being a first generation student arise. It was really difficult transitioning. I think Latinos in Tech was the biggest help for me to transition from community college to Berkeley because there was a lot of expenses I couldn't pay for. So if I had to worry about working another job to pay for these expenses, that would have been an obstacle, like a really big obstacle for me. Here in Silicon Valley, Latinos represent approximately 25 to 30 percent of the general population. But unfortunately, we represent only about 3 percent of that STEM workforce. We can't exist as a community if we're not finding a way to include as many members of the community as possible. Litzy is solving a very difficult problem for our community. Our students may face obstacles that get in the way, but in addition to financial challenges, just the preparation, understanding, what does it take to major in STEM do I have someone that can answer questions for me, that gives me that support? The Latinos in Tech program was such an impactful program for me because it made me see that there is a place for me, that I am seen, that I am heard, and especially as a woman in STEM, it has been such a relief to see that there's people that are looking out for me, that are saying that I am a person who is worthy of investing. And as of now, we have invested over $5 million in scholarships. Our scholars have pursued over 100 unique majors within STEM and are employed at over 70 different companies within Silicon Valley. Through Conexiones, I was able to consider things that I wouldn't have otherwise through conversations with my mentor, whether it was you know, scheduling one-on-ones with engineers on my team and outside of my team, the way that I carried myself in, in the conversations and getting involved and, and having a voice in the room. One of the biggest help from the program was Career Launch, and it kind of helped me figure out what I wanted to do, which was entrepreneurship. My name is Andres Medrano, and I'm a software engineer at Slack. My name is Giselle Alvarez, and I co-founded Sanitas AI, which is a company that makes data and AI tools for research and healthcare concerning communities of color and their health concerns. Here at HFSV, we actively work to pipeline all of our scholars into summer internships with our corporate partners, with funders, and with other STEM Silicon Valley companies. Until you really experience the day-to-day -day what does an engineer do? What does a programmer do? You don't know. And so the internship is a really important part of this program. There was a moment in that first internship where we were in a group. I was able to add a certain perspective that others weren't thinking of, and I, I could bring an impact. Our program has significantly contributed to the Latina representation, with 42% of our scholars being Latina. 80% of our Litzy scholarship recipients are first generation college students, meaning they're the first in their family to go to college. So when we invest in one student, we are actually impacting the trajectory of their entire family. I am a first generation Latina and I've raised venture capital. I represent the 31% of students transitioning from community college to success. We are not just breaking barriers, we are building bridges. Join us in shaping the future of technology and light up the path for countless Latino students, fostering an ecosystem of diversity and innovation. Thank you.